English rib is a stitch that combines tuck and rib. It may be made either with the every other needle ribbing setup or the full needle rib setup. Another name for English rib is half fisherman's rib, which is the term that I'm accustomed to using. Double English rib is the same as full fisherman's rib. Some of the silver reed family of ribber manuals include both and some do not, but as far as I am able to tell, both stitches may be made on either the SRP 50 or 60. Both sides of both fabrics are good looking and neither fabric rolls, but there are some differences as I will explain while we're swatching. Since the fabrics get very wide, you need to take account of that fact when casting on. Because of that, I recommend the racking cast on. For the samples, I'm using a thin yarn, Tamastelio, and the full needle rib setup, which means that I'm on half pitch. I would be on pitch if using every other needle. To begin knitting English rib, we need to change from the stock in it settings by pushing that lever and this lever. And also moving this lever on the left side of the river to zero. What we want is for one row, the main bed knitted, but the river bed, because of that zero and the tuck symbol, picked up loops but did not knit. However, because it's on one, when it goes to the right, it should knit right along with the main bed. So that row is like full needle rib. This row tucks all the front bed stitches. For double English rib, also known as full fisherman's rib, we still want the ribber settings like this, but we want the left main bed setting to the triangle setting, the right main bed lever to the dot setting, and the dial set to select tuck. Now let's watch and see if the beds do what I told them and alternate. Main bed knitted every stitch, river bed tucked every stitch. They should now reverse. Main bed tucked every stitch, river bed knitted every stitch. This is the widest possible fabric that a person can get on the knitting machine. Here's a quick comparison. I'm holding up a stockinette portion of the swatch with my fingertips. Above it is full fisherman's rib, otherwise known as double English rib. And you can see that it's the widest fabric we've got. It would be wider than it presently appears if it didn't have narrower fabrics both above and below it pulling it in. It would tend to relax all the way out. Above it is half fisherman's rib, otherwise known as English rib, when which one side, one bed tucked, the other one knitted every row. One bed tucked alternate rows, I should say, the other knitted every row. And it is much wider than stockinette, but much narrower than full fisherman's rib. Besides being extra wide, these kinds of fabrics are thicker than usual for standard gauge machines, warmer, completely non-rolling, and reversible, making them great for scarves, blankets, and shawls. Ordinary English rib or half fisherman's rib does not look identical on both sides of the fabric, but both sides are presentable. 